lights off till the lights go out, till my legs give out. Can't shut my mouth till the smoke clears out. And my heart progress, I'ma rip this shit till my bones collapse. Till the roof comes off, till the lights go out, till my legs give out. Can't shut my mouth till the smoke clears out. And my heart progress, I'ma rip this shit till my bones collapse. Uh. So you've probably seen the title of the video, uh, which is Do You Want to Be Lean or Eat Food or something like that. I haven't actually done the title, but I know what the video is about. Uh, so I put the post up on Instagram the other day saying, Do you prefer food or feeling lean? Uh, and I said, Like it if you prefer food and feeling lean and whatever. So again, uh, I did this in my last video, kind of asked, asked the people, and they're going to talk about it, discuss it, kind of gives it not just my opinion, but other people's opinions and kind of makes, <laughs> makes it sound like I'm not just making this up, even though I probably am. Uh, so yeah, I posted that, 3,700 people actually saw the post, um, 180 odd people liked it, said that they prefer food, uh, with a few more people commenting as well saying they prefer food. There was about four or five people that said uh, <clears throat> they prefer feeling lean, um, but yeah, I, I guess the whole topic, the whole point of this video is, generally we all prefer food, and we're not talking about like someone commented saying, oh, paleo cookies, best of both, no, we're talking about food, we're talking about like... Cakes, biscuits, pizzas, things that we know we're not meant to eat, but we just love eating them. And everyone likes them. Like, I'm, my biggest weakness, I love pizza and I love cookies. But I have to do my best to avoid them um, to achieve the, the physique and the, the, everything else that I want. Um, but, yeah, so it's kind of an interesting topic. And it really started with, I was having a conversation with one of my clients this week about how the healthy eating is so relentless and like the, the eating your calories is so relentless that you, you know, you can turn up at the gym, hit your training, it's fine, but then the, it's the other 23 hours of the day that just continue and it's never going to stop. Your health's always going to be there and it does seem like forever and you just think like, oh, how are you going to get the balance of not starving yourself but kind of taking away things you don't like food-wise or not being able to eat things you like food-wise and the feeling of the, the great physique and really you've got to find the balance and I feel that you can possibly... Have both. You can have food and you can have the feeling of lean, but sometimes you've got to sacrifice the one for the other. You can't always have the food and you can't always be lean if you want to go in that respect. So say you always want to have your pizza, then you're not always going to be lean, but say you always want to be lean and you can't always have your pizza. So you've got to find the right basis. You've got to find the basis of one, you don't feel like you're depriving yourself and you're unhappy in that respect, and two, you don't feel like your physique's not very good, so you're unhappy in that respect. Um, and I think that's the balance. And I, um, I went on a course with Mark Laws a few months back and he said, if you're ever doing anything, it wasn't just about, it was mainly about fitness, but you can apply it to anything. If you're ever doing anything in terms of fitness and training your health, ask yourself why five times. If you can give five decent answers, then you're probably doing something right, you know? If you ask a guy in the gym, why is he doing bicep curls? He's probably only got one answer just for his arms. Do you know what I mean? Like there's, not that I'm hating on bicep curls, there's a lot of time for bicep curls, but um, yeah, things like that. Why, 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 why? But yeah, that's going to be the whole whole topic of the video. It's kind of... It seems generally we all prefer food, like <laughs> it's, that, it's that simple. So it's finding how we can get the food to fit into our everyday lifestyles, I guess, and be happy with how we look as well. So it's finding the right balance. So I'll try and give you some tips as we go through this video about that. Teleport outside. Um, so the main thing when you're doing things is you're asking yourself why, okay, I said that, I mentioned five. Uh, most people just want to lose weight or they want to look a certain way, but like you've got to think, what's that, that going to give to you? Say five pounds lighter, well done, you're five pounds lighter. What does that mean? Does that, does that mean it's going to give you more confidence? You can be able to do this. Is it going to help you in work? Is it going to help you with friends? Is it going to help you whatever? You've got to find that real good reason why you're actually doing it, because otherwise the motivation's not there. Uh, people always say to me, like, I really just want, I just want your motivation. What's your motivation? And uh, for me, I'm just competitive, and I just want to be better and better and better and better. I always want to be the best I could possibly be. That's it. But that's not enough for some people. You've got to have, you've got to have a reason. So. Think about it. We'll probably do some cool edits and be cooking and stuff now. Think about that while it's happening. And then we'll discuss more at the end of the video. Tonight. 
So I just made that meal then, that's a really good tip. I just ate tons of vegetables and that whole meal there's less than 20 grams of carbohydrate. And it's a pretty big meal, I've got it on two plates, it's so much to make. I can eat that now, um, there's 200 grams of chicken breast and then just tons of vegetables, over 500 grams of vegetables, uh, 200 grams of broccoli and 320 grams of mixed peppers. Big meals, it fills you up, saves those calories. Say you, are, you do like a snack later on in the day, eat big meals in the day which are kind of like got no calories, like vegetables fill you up. Later on in the day then you can have those snacks, have a, I don't know, say you fancy two biscuits at the end of the day, like it won't matter too much if you save your calories for them, so good tip. Stay hydrated, uh, drink plenty of water a lot of time when you feel you're hungry, you're actually thirsty. And for a bonus tip, this is monster in a war ball. Uh, caffeine is an appetite suppressant, so it's not why I have caffeine, caffeine because I'm normally half asleep, but um, things like having a coffee will also help you as it is a natural appetite suppressant, so yeah. Bonus tip. So that's just one of my clients, uh, Heather, just doing some training today in our session. Uh, we did a little video because the clothing company, which I put in the uh, discount code up for, basically uh, they offered us um, items as a, an affiliate. Um, really cool about being strong um, and basically aimed at women, so being strong, not skinny. Uh, that sort of idea that you're strong, not just for a girl, but you're strong regardless. So that was cool. Uh, go check them out. I put the link in the uh, on the last post. Uh, now the final bit of the video, guys. So I asked you to think, what is it that it will give you if you lose weight or if you stick to your diet? Or what, 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 what will it give you? Is it worth it? And whatever it is, whatever it is you thought about, every time you feel the cravings, every time you want to slip on your diet or whatever it is, go back to that thought. If that thought's strong enough to stop you from cheating on your diet or whatever it is, then stick with it. If it's not, you need a new thought, you need a new idea, because otherwise you're doing it all for the wrong reasons.